So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the location of all 24 secret pies that you can find in Giddy Park and also the free roam regions. And we're also going to be taking a look at the reward that we receive. Click the link down in the description to Instant Gaming to get yourself some amazing discounts on some amazing games. So what is going on guys, my name is Zero and welcome back to some more Battle for Neighborville here today on the channel. Today I am going to be showing you the location of all 24 pies that you can find in Giddy Park and the free roam regions. Finding all these pies is like a scavenger hunt that we have in Giddy Park. To activate it, you need to speak to this little character you can find over in the plant base called Sir Crustworthy. Once you have spoken to him, you can go around and start collecting 24 different pies. Now as you can see I have collected one of the pies already. That is because I was testing something between the town center regions. Both plant region and zombie region are connected so all the pies that you will find in the plant town center are going to be in the same location in the zombie town center and if you collect any of those pies from the plant region they will disappear from the zombie region. So technically you only need to take a look for pies in one of the town center regions, Weirding Woods, Mount Steep and Giddy Park. Now if you're only missing one or two pies i will let you know how many pies you can find in each specific region so you can find four of them inside of giddy park you can find eight of them in town center you can find six of them in weirding woods and six of them in mount steep now i do also want to say a huge thank you to a lot of you guys over on twitter many of you were posting different images of the locations of the pies so instead of just giving one dedicated shout out i'm actually going to show multiple different tweets on screen of you guys tweeting me where the pies are so i want to say a huge thank you to the community together we have found the location of all of these pies so to start off with we want to head over here to the plant base and just behind rooks here on the side of the shelf, you will find a lovely blueberry pie. The second pie is found at the top of the Ferris wheel. So you just need to jump on the top like this. And just on the very back of the structure, there is going to be a pie directly at the top. There it is, right there. So we jump over here on the side and collect the pie. The third pie is found right over here near the water ride, the folly trolley. If we go directly behind where the folly trolley is, you will see that this crazy Dave statue is holding the third pie. Simply jump up and collect it. For the fourth pie, we actually need to go as a zombie. So if we respawn and then switch over to the zombie side, just over here next to the Weirding Woods sign, you'll find a huge pile of pies. And this one right here can be collected. And that is your fourth and final pie that you can find in Giddy Park. Now we're going to move over to the first free roam region. We're going to be going into town center plants. And the reason for this is because it's a little bit brighter and it probably looks better on video being in the plant region than the zombie region but just remember you don't need to go into the town center zombies if you decide you want to collect all of the pies from town center plants okay so we've spawned into town center now and we want to find our first pie in this free roam region there are eight in total and our first one is located right over here just behind this blue house in the greenhouse it's just over here in the window and you can go ahead and pick it up for the next pie in town center we're over here next to the squash next to the bridge all we need to do is simply cross the bridge and you see that little bird's nest over here on the rock that is where the next pie is located so ideally goes like a pea shooter i use hyper and jump and you can collect your next pie. Going back across the bridge now to the center of town center, we're going to go over here and take a left over to the house that's got a million satellites on it. And this is the pie which I'd already collected. It's found over here in this dog kennel here. I will show you gameplay of me collecting it, but you do find it in this dog kennel here, and that will be pie number seven. For pie number eight, we're just going to run straight across the gas station over here, and we're going to head to the movie theater because in the window, of the movie theater, or in the ticket booth, should I say, you will once again find yourself another pie. 
Moving on from the cinema, if we go ahead and take a left here, and then simply go behind this little building over here, you will find another pie hidden on the ledge. All you need to do is jump onto this little uh, red banner and collect your pie. And that is pie number nine. For pie number 10, we need to head down to the beach. And if you head all the way down here, where the little rock archway is, as you can see here, just next to where you can actually collect one of the chests, if you jump over onto this rock, you can see there is another pie. So go ahead and collect it, and that's pie number 10. For pie number 11, we're going to go to the sewer, which is connected to the beach. If we head down here and cross the sewer directly to the other side and up the steps, you're going to see typically there's an engineer with a couple of brown coats. Next to that, you're going to see a gas station. And all we need to do is head behind the gas station, and we will find ourselves our 11th pie and our 7th pie in the town center region. So we just head simply behind here and leaned up on the trash. Probably not a nice pie to eat considering there's flies around. You will find your 11th pie and 7th pie in the town center. And the final pie that you will be able to find inside of town center is probably the most difficult one. And this is a very sneaky one for PopCap to hide. You need to actually go and do Sir Biff, which is the gnome boss, and to be able to do this, you need to have collected all three diamond gnomes. Now, if you guys don't know where to find all three diamond gnomes and you want an easy tutorial, then I have one of those on my channel. I will leave a link down in the description to my diamond gnome video where you can follow it and collect all three diamond gnomes very easily. Once you've done that, you can return here and uh, activate the mysterious door, and once you head inside, you can find the final pie in the town center region. It's just over here on the side of the steps. Okay, so we've collected all of the pies from town center. Now we're gonna head over to Mount Steep, which is the second free roam region on the plant side. So let's head in here and we'll show you where the first pie is. Okay, so we spawned into Mount Steep. Our first pie is just over here to the right. If we head over in this direction, you're going to find a little wooden cabin or a little wooden building. And just on the window ledge to that cabin, you're going to find a delicious blueberry pie. Like so. For our second pie, I'm going to use the ops as a little indicator of where you know where I am. We head over here to the right and take another right over here. You're going to see like a, a little broken cart. Just on the side of this cart, you'll see another pie. So we was just over in that direction where we collected the last pie. We're still over here in the same sort of region. Uh, we're right here. What we need to do is head through this little tunnel here. This takes us to like the central drill where you have the little drill which uh, spins around like so. All you need to do before you get there, take a look in this window and you will find another delicious pie. What we're going to do next is from the drill, we're actually going to head through here past the night cap take your first left which is going to take us into this little like uh, obstacle course with a little bit of melted cheese if we continue going through here and then take a right another right up these steps you will see another pie just on this little rock next to this lantern that is our fourth pie from this region and we have two more to go a fifth pie is found down here in the giant underground base next to the giant lake of cheese. You need to head down here to the left and you'll see like a little rock just chilling next to the cheese. On top of it, you will find a pie and that is the fifth pie out of six. For the sixth and final pie in Mount Steep, you actually need to have completed the main quest line because you need to have yourself the harmonica. Once you have done that, you need to fire the mouse flies at the boss gate because we actually need to head into where you can take out uh, the giant boss for Mount Steep. Once you have destroyed the boss gate and you have entered the final boss fight, you need to head down in this direction. Head down this little tunnel here, and you're going to come across an obstacle where you need to jump across maybe like four cheese floaty things or whatever these rocks are floating in, uh, in the cheese. And once you've gone across these, you will see a lovely delicious pie hidden on this rock. That's pie number 18 and a final pie in Mount Steep. So for the final six pies that we need to collect, we need to head over here 
into Weirding Woods. So once you spawn it into Weirding Woods, you just need to simply head straight forward. And then just to your left on the window, you will see your first pie. Go ahead and pick it up. From the cabin, which is right here that we just collected our first pie, we then need to just keep going straight ahead to where this little caravan is. All you need to do is jump up on top of this, and inside of this tent here, you will find pie number two. From Camp Nero League, you want to start heading to the Z-Tech factory, and once you have headed down in this direction, past this little green truck here, well, it's, it's not really so little, you're going to see a white van. Now, this white van does have a pie, in the passenger seat. You can't really see it as the imp. There we go. And uh, let's go ahead and collect that. For pie number four, we might actually just warp home because the next pie is right next to spawn. Once you have warped home, simply turn around and then on the little control panel, you'll see pie number four. The fifth pie is located right next to the boom box. The easiest way to do that is from ZTech Factory. Activate this device here. Once you have done that, you can simply use it to launch yourself across and you're pretty much all the way there. You just need to make your way across the swamp, watching out that you don't get taken down by the dread roots, because they are a major pain, and they have aimbot. But all we need to do is simply jump on this pipe here, and uh, head in to where uh, the boom box is. And on the uh, side here, you'll find pie number five. For the sixth pie, we actually need to activate uh, the boom box to kind of put all of the dread roots to sleep, so that... We can go into where Dreadwood is itself, which is simply right next to the boombox itself. All we need to do is head down here and destroy the little heart that the Dreadroot has, or the Dreadwood has, and then we can activate the boss gate. And once again, to do this, you need to have completed the main quest line to be able to activate the boombox. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and enter the boss gate to find the final pie. So once you have gone through the boss gate, you're going to see a few little trains here. And uh, there's actually going to be some wind which is going to blow you backwards. So you need to use these trains to protect yourself so you don't get blown all the way backwards. So make sure you just take your time to get this done, otherwise you're going to go really far backwards. The pie is just located at the end of this little tunnel. And you can see it right there glowing. It's got my name on it. So let's go ahead and collect the pie. And that is pie number 24. You can see just how quickly it blows you back. So make sure you do use the trains for cover. But once we've done that, we can abandon the activity. And we can head back to Giddy Park and talk to the little acorn and get a reward. Okay, so we're here now. We've collected all 24 pies. Let's go over to the little acorn, which is called Sir Crustalot, is it? Sir Crustworthy. We've got all 24 pies. Let's see what we get. Thou has found all my pies. Thou art truly worthy to join the Knights of the Lazy Susan. Take your prize. It goes well with ice cream and battle. And we get ourselves the Tasty Topper, which is a Spectrum hat for the Acorn. It is actually the hat that he is wearing. So let's go take a quick look at that. It is a Spectrum hat, so I would love to see what other colors we can uh, change it into. And to be honest, I don't really have that many hats for the Acorn. So I actually really like this one. So here we go. So we have this in green. We can have it in yellow. We can have it in blue. We can have it in pink. We can have it in black, and we can also have it in white. And it looks like the little handkerchiefs also change color as well as the kind of, like, uh, cream that he has. And uh, it looks nice. It's cool. I, I wish that the, uh, the fruit would change as well, but it's a cool hat. I like it. And you can simply get this for collecting all 24 pies. And uh, hopefully, guys, did find today's video helpful. Once again, thank you to everybody in the community that has tweeted me some of the locations for the pies. It really did help, so I really do appreciate it. But uh, nonetheless, if you did find today's video helpful, make sure you drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and we will be doing some more tutorials like this and working together as a community when we do get more similar to this. So nonetheless, thank you very much for watching. My name is Zero, and I will catch you all in another video.